So what do you say about their influence? I mean, there's very powerful people there. Why does it have to be so secret? I mean, there is no secrecy. It's there is absolutely. I talked to the hotel guys. It's just a private meeting. If you want to know the evils lurking within the Bilderberg Group, look no further than the following quotes from Bilderberg insiders and those who've studied the secretive cabal. Bill Gates. So you've got a thing on the left, CO2, that you want to get to zero. And that's going to be based on the number of people, the services each person's using on average, the energy on average for each service, and the CO2 being put out uh, per unit of energy. Probably one of these numbers is going to have to get pretty near to zero. Now uh, that's back from high school algebra. But let's, let's take a look. Dr. Henry Kissinger at the 1992 Bilderberg meeting at Evian's France Today, America would be outraged if UN troops entered Los Angeles to restore order, referring to the 1991 LA riots. Tomorrow, they will be grateful. This is especially true if they were told that there were an outside threat from beyond, i.e. an extraterrestrial invasion, whether real or promulgated, that threatened our very existence. It is then that all peoples of the world will plead to deliver them from this evil. The one thing every man fears is the unknown. When presented with this scenario, individual rights will be willingly relinquished for the guarantee of their well-being granted to them by the world government. David Rockefeller wrote in his book Memoirs, If the Council on Foreign Relations raises the hackles of the conspiracy theorists, the Bilderberg meetings must induce apocalyptic visions of omnipotent international bankers plotting with unscrupulous government officials to impose cunning schemes on an ignorant and unsuspecting world. At the 1991 Bilderberg meeting at Badan, Germany, a meeting also attended by Bill Clinton, David Rockefeller said, We are grateful to the Washington Post, the New York Times, Time Magazine, and other great publications whose directors have attended our meetings and respected their promises of discretion for almost 40 years. It would have been impossible for us to develop our plan for the world if we had been subjected to the lights of publicity during those years but the world is more sophisticated and prepared to march towards a world government. The supranational sovereignty of an intellectual elite and world bankers is surely preferable to the national auto-determination practiced in past centuries. And David Rockefeller from his book Memoirs again, some even believe we are part of a secret cabal working against the best interests of the United States, characterizing my family and me as internationalists and conspiring with others around the world to build a more integrated global political and economic structure. One world, if you will. If that's the charge, I stand guilty and I am proud of it. Already we've seen leading members of Congress used to always attend the Speaker of the House, uh, representatives, ranking senators uh, would attend. Now they don't dare because they get mail from their own constituents. Their own, uh, voters in their own congressional district are in their st home state for the senators saying if you uh, do business with uh, these criminals in anymore, we'll never vote for you again. We'll vote for anybody else. And they've been politically frightened out of the ballgame. 19th century politician and historian Lord Acton said the issue which has swept down the centuries and which will have to be fought sooner or later is the people versus the banks. The ruthless and cunning behavior of the attendees of the Bilderberg Conference can be summed up in the Machiavelli quote, men are so simple and so much inclined to obey immediate needs that a deceiver will never lack victims for his deceptions. We can see the ripples of secrecy in the Bilderberg Group and that of President Obama's TPP and Adam Weishaupt, founder of the Illuminati's quote, the great strength of our order lies in its concealment. Let it never appear in any place in its own name, but always concealed by another name and another occupation. Baron Nathan Mayer Rothschild said, I care not what puppet is placed on the throne of England to rule the empire. The man that controls Britain's money supply controls the British Empire, and I control the money supply. And if those quotes aren't creepy enough for you, David Spangler of the United Nations Directory of the Planetary Initiative said, No one will enter the New World Order unless he or she will make a pledge to worship Lucifer. No one will enter the New Age unless he will take a Luciferian initiation. 
and it's not as if we have not been warned time and time again. Congressman Louis T. McFadden in 1932 said, We have in this country one of the most corrupt institutions the world has ever known. I refer to the Federal Reserve Board. This evil institution has impoverished the people of the United States and has practically bankrupted our government. It has done this through the corrupt practices of the moneyed vultures who control it. Woodrow Wilson, who signed the Federal Reserve into existence, said, I am a most unhappy man. I've unwittingly ruined my country. A great industrial nation is controlled by its system of credit. Our system of credit is concentrated. The growth of the nation, therefore, and all our activities are in the hands of a few men. John Bound for Infowars.com